Blue jeans, you are so fat. Hey guys, it's Hannah and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with Blue Jeans and I'm going to show you how I groom her. And before we get started, I wanted to thank Stella for the sweet letter that she wrote me and the adorable picture that she drew. This is the adorable letter and it says, Dear Hannah, my name is Stella. I'm 10 years old. I'm an English horseback rider. I follow you on Instagram and I would love if you could follow me. My Instagram is Stella Horse Rider. I also have a YouTube channel called Stella's Animal Life. Can you give me a shout out? Can you check my channel out? I have a few questions for you. Are you homeschooled? What do you want to be when you're older? Keep up the good work. Thank you so much. And she put, P.S. My family has a pet store called The Dog Bar and we have 14 animals. That is very cool. And I was not able to find your YouTube channel, so I'm sorry about that. But to answer your questions, I am homeschooled. And when I get older, I plan on being self-employed. And this is the adorable picture that she drew me and I absolutely love it and she also put these cute stickers in the envelope as well and if any of you guys are interested in sending me anything I will have my PO box in the description box below so yeah thank you very very much Stella I really appreciate it okay so the first thing I use is my basic rubber curry comb and this tool is to get all of the dirt and loose hair from the bottom of your horse's coat up to the top so you can brush it off with your brushes later. And the curry comb is used in a circular motion applying a little bit of pressure to bring all the dirt and loose hair up to the surface of the coat. And I avoid using this curry comb on her face and I also do not go below her forearm or her hock. Next, I use my gel curry comb that I got from Tractor Supply since you can use it in more sensitive areas. I use this one for her legs. Using my gel curry comb on her legs I use my metal curry comb and this is not something that I would normally do but since she's shedding her winter coat she has a lot of loose hair so I'm going to use my metal curry comb before my hard brush to kind of get all those clumps of loose hair off of the top of her coat and with the metal curry comb I'm just going in long strokes all over her body except for her legs and her face Now I'm using my gel curry comb for her face and I have a small facial curry that I normally use but I misplaced it so I'm just using my gel curry for her face today and then I'm going to brush off the loose hairs on her face with a face brush. Now I'm going to use my hard brush and this gets off all of the dirt and loose hair that we got up with the curry comb and I'm going to use this and avoid her face and below her forearm and her hock and this is used in a short flicking motion. After using my hard brush, I use my soft brush, and this is the soft brush that I got from Who's First, and I absolutely love it. If you want to know more about Who's First subscription boxes, click on the Who's First unboxing video in my description box below. And the soft brush is going to get off all the hairs that the hard brush missed, and also just add a shine to your horse's coat. And this can be used all over your horse's body in long stroking motions.
Then I move onto her feet and pick out her hooves, and I just run my hand down her leg, and she knows to pick up her foot for me. When you are picking out your horse's hoof, you want to avoid the V-shape in the middle, which is the frog. That is sensitive, and you just want to pick out what's around it. And when you put your horse's foot back down on the ground, you want to put it down gently. You don't want to drop it. And the last thing I do is use some fly spray. And this is one of my favorite fly sprays that I get from Tractor Supply. And I just spray this all over her body, except for her face, of course. And I don't really mess with her mane and tail a lot. And if I do, I am sure to use a lot of detangular spray. And I actually have a video on how to make my detangular spray. I'll have it linked in the description box. So yeah, that's how I groom blue jeans. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I love y'all so, so, so much, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye!